Oh, hey, it's Rob, and it's a uh, really pretty gorgeous day. Uh, I'm out in the backyard because in uh, my ever-increasing trailer obsession, I got some accessories for the trailer. So one I got is this little uh, trailer foot thing for the piece that drops down with the jack. Uh, I mean, I could have gotten a wheeled one, but I really don't think I want one at this point. Uh, it's just easier to lift the trailer and move it when it's unloaded. And moving it loaded is something I really generally don't want to do by hand. Uh, other thing I got is this. This is a uh, utility box that mounts on the trailer tongue. And this I plan on using for storing tarps and bungee cords and anything else that I might want to have for hooking up stuff to the trailer. That way I can get rid of the bungee cords that are hanging around the back of the truck and keep getting tangled in the dog's leashes. Well, the thing I don't know yet is how I'm going to mount this. Um, I'm hoping that there are some suggestions in the packaging. Otherwise I'll look and see what other people have done online. But there are some things that I need to take into account. Uh, big for instance is these rails can fold down or come out entirely. Now I'm probably not going to be taking them out anytime soon or dropping them down. I didn't do that at all with the other one because I couldn't, but I don't see a whole lot of uses I'm going to have for this that will include that. Uh, unless it involves something that's going to be long enough to be dangling off of both ends that's too big for I, I don't I just I can't see anything that's going to be causing that but I do want to be able to take that into account so I'm going to need to take some measurements the other thing I want to do is make sure because this is powder coated uh, I really don't want to bolt into this uh, and when I put that box on I'm planning on putting some uh, uh, sealing tape down some flex seal in between them to make sure that there's nothing that gets trapped underneath there that could possibly be either rotting the box from the top or getting into the frame. I also got some various other things. I got some additional tie downs that I can add to the trailer that will give me some mounting points for bungee cords and uh, straps and things like that. And there's that flex tape that I got. Uh, this is for something that's slightly different that I'll talk about later. And, you know, some more hooks. I got some truck bed liner paint because, of course, this is a uh, Harbor Freight device. And Harbor Freight is not known for their long-lasting paint jobs. Uh, also got some Rust-Oleum hammered finish and some uh, cool sparkly multicolor spray so I can have some fun there. First thing, let's get this out of the box. Let's see what's in here. Uh, it's Nunley. I like this little knife. Got it at the hardware store. And it's been really handy for a utility knife. I'm usually carrying a, a utility knife with me pretty much everywhere because I open boxes and cut zip ties and things like that an awful lot. And it's just easier to have with, with me. Kinds of keys. This actually has a little gas strut in it, which is nice. Um, the lock isn't exactly um, fantastic. There we go. See, it's kind of a uh, just a blocking lock. So it's nothing spectacular. Well, the instructions pretty much call for drilling holes in the bottom in these four corners and mounting it to the trailer. So I'm not sure that I want to do that because I want to be able to get this removed. Uh, that's some uh, leftovers when they dropped the keys in here. They looped it over with this thread and uh, while the paint was still wet. Because <laughs> of course, why wouldn't they? Uh, that's interesting. Uh, perhaps that's not the right word, but oh, it does have a serial number just in case. So 
All right, I'm gonna take this over. Well, no, I'm probably not gonna take it over to the trailer yet. I want to uh, want to do some preparation, so I'm gonna get some measurements. Now I can also see something that I'm going to want to try and fix. <laughs> this latch doesn't uh, really do a good job of latching. I suppose that's partially this, but no, oh, it is a slot. So it looks like I can adjust that a little bit. All right, well, that's not too bad. Yeah, I got some measurements, but uh, looking at the sky, I'm gonna be putting this away. It's kind of covering it for now because you know, it's a waterproof case, but I uh, just really don't want it to get wet in case it rains. And I think I'm gonna do a quick coat on this to make it look a little more black. Put on some truck bed covering. So I ended up returning the uh, um, the metal box that I got here because um, I was finding it really uh, finding a really difficult way of mounting it on here that wasn't going to be in the way and also getting in the way of this handle. So um, aside from that, it was also I think a little bit too heavy for this trailer. I think it's more designed for a, a bigger trailer, like one that's got you know a cab on it or something like that, or you know that dual dual axle kind of thing uh, but this is a lightweight lightweight light duty trailer so I don't want to bog it down too much but I do still want to put something on I like the idea of the storage bin on the front of the trailer so I can put you know tarps and bungee cords and things like that so I got this and yeah it's a Harbor Freight toolbox it is pretty light uh, it's got a decent amount of space and the dogs seem to like it, but um, I can compartmentalize it. So I've got, you know, room for straps here. And if I want, I can drop this in, you know, and have a, uh, have a second bin. Although I don't know why I would need one at this point. I might keep it, but to be able to fit in, you know, tarps and other things, I'm gonna guess this is probably a better, uh, better solution. But I can fit, you know, straps and bungee cords in there and have plenty to go on. It also fits pretty well right in here. So what I would like to do is put something underneath here to allow this to set on and probably bolt down. Um, so somewhere probably out here so that I can open this door, uh, open, yeah, open the top door better. Give it a little bit of space away from this bar. Uh, and that way it can stay as part of the trailer. It's not too heavy. You know, even with the tarps and stuff in it, that's, uh, that's not nearly as heavy as that metal box was. Uh, also got that foot on, which I kind of like. But, uh, I have to figure out how to do that. What I kind of like to do is an expanded metal mesh, you know, an expanded steel on there as sort of a floor, but I don't know that I can find any of that around. I do know I can get some diamond, uh, diamond plate aluminum and put it underneath there, and that may be the way to go because that would probably be even lighter. It even has these clips on it, so if I want to get another section for these they do I mean they are expandable uh, I can get another one and just clip it onto the top and that should stay in place might want to strap a bungee cord around it or something to keep it all in one place but I think that's a better solution we'll see <laughs> 